What's up, YouTube? Robo Rider here. Um, chilling in a parking lot. It's like the Mosaic Phosphate Museum here in Mulberry, Florida. But uh, just wanted to show you guys my new fairing. It is the Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing. And the windshield I have on it is the 11 inch vented. I did initially start off with the 17 inch vented, but the wind buffeting was so terrible. Couldn't do it. Uh, made my video quality horrible. And I don't know if any of you have noticed, but I've been missing for a couple weeks, but that is literally cause I was waiting for this to come in. I was between the windshields, um, even getting my audio good for the video. So had some time off also some idiot stole my um, sissy bar bag that I got from Viking Bags. It was a tactical motorcycle bag that went on my sissy bar and someone stole it right off my bike and it had my GoPro mic adapter. It had my arms that went to put the GoPro on my helmet. Fortunately, I had my GoPro in my pocket, so uh, they didn't get away with that, but they had all the other stuff, which kind of annoying but uh yeah so my stuff was stolen so that's been the reason for the delay in making videos and content i do try to push a video at least once a week uh stuff that's helpful for my 22 lowrider s um also being a six foot five rider um just hope i'm helping people with my content and stuff like that so yep that's where i've been but this is to go over this new fairing uh, most of you probably saw, and we'll get riding here because we probably got to wait in traffic. But most of you probably saw, and I'll close this so you can hear me better. Um, my other video where I got the Fate CIM fairing. You can get it off of Amazon. That fairing, super cheap, was all of, you know, a hundred and it's probably like a hundred bucks but getting the brackets and stuff to, to put it on or modifying the brackets with you know parts from the hardware store um you know it's probably about 130 bucks or so now that fairing is it worth the 100 bucks 120 yes if you're on a budget uh you need a quick easy fairing for the bike it's not a bad deal. Uh, it goes on with a little bit of uh, ghetto rigging, we'll call it, to make it fit. And it works good. What I didn't like about it for me is the wind buffeting was terrible. Uh, with the Fate CIM fairing, you don't have a way to adjust the angles of the fairing like this in order to figure out the sweet spot for the buffeting. Um, that's the main reason why I wanted to get the Memphis Shade Road Warrior was because you can adjust the angle super easy. Also, the way it mounts into the forks feels way more secure. Now, the downside to it is, obviously, it's, you know, kind of expensive. Uh, but it's, it's definitely higher quality, definitely easier to put on. And in my opinion, it does look better. Now. I, like I said, I did start with the 17 inch. Even with the 17 inch, the wind buffeting was not good no matter what angle I put it at. So Memphis Shades is freaking awesome. Uh, I reached out to them via Instagram, the IG, and was like, hey, I'm getting bad wind buffeting. And you know, they, they're like, hey, how about you just take the windshield off and see how it does. I did that, I took the windshield off and I had wind, obviously, but it wasn't buffeting because the wind wasn't as turbulent. It was more clean wind because it was hitting me straight in my helmet 
uh, and, and straight on so it wasn't you know bobbling around so that worked for me so I was like hey that actually worked so they said hey it's probably better with your height for you to go lower um, they don't make anything higher than 17 inch motorcycle bro they don't make anything higher than 17 inch the next options are 15 13 11 or 9 inch windshields so just talking with the person at memphis shades they're like hey we think 11 will work good for you we'll send it to you vented and they did it free of charge they just sent it to me um and they're like just send us back the 17 inch and we'll call it even so superb customer service i'm highly grateful for them um, and as you can hear we're at 64 miles per hour uh, i'm sure there is some wind noise uh, but that's you know just the nature of the beast i guess but it's not turbulent my head isn't shaking like crazy to where i can't see cars in front of me or you know street signs but uh this is the 11 inch it definitely works great uh as you can see with my risers i believe i have uh either 12 or 14 inch risers and thrashing bars where my uh speedo sits right up here it's a little bit peaks a little bit above the windshield but to me it still looks great um the other thing with this bird warrior fairing is it's keeping wind off of my chest and and lower torso and even in your legs when you tuck them in a little uh it, this right here is deflecting the wind obviously that's the purpose of the fairing um so wind is literally coming right about my eyebrow level uh with this setup and it's tolerable now other people are shorter they probably do well with the 15 inch windshield where the buffeting goes right over their head they don't get sucked into the vacuum it doesn't shake their helmet but for guys like me that are six foot five this is the solution is to have a lower windshield and let the clean wind come in and hit you in the face in my case i have a full face helmet it's not a big deal the fairing looks cool high quality good good and stiff on the bike uh, in addition i got these memphis shade uh, hand guards and these are great for blocking the bugs or the rocks that bounce up in the road from you know nailing your knuckle um, and if you'll also notice in my other videos i had the mirrors flipped upside down that's a no-go when you're my size six foot five i was literally looking at the side of my arms didn't work out for me um so flipping them back up right i could see you know a whole lot better um and i think it looks better too more of a club style the other thing i got from memphis shades along with this road warrior fairing is if you look down in there i had the headlight shroud which gives it a cleaner look inside the bike and also it allows you to take off the fairing and your headlight not look like a naked piece of metal so it gives it a nice cool look for whenever you want to ride naked and youtube i mean naked as in the bike not having not not having clothes on <laughs> so i uh, got the headlight shroud to do that which completes the look with this fairing um i also adjusted some of my audio settings so you guys could hear me better and that'll be the next video that i post you guys will be surprised at the microphone that i'm using and the setup that i have in this helmet a lot of people are like use the purple panda it's the best guys during my hiatus these last couple of weeks i did have the purple pan uh, the purple panda mic installed and with this setup exactly how it is the sound was absolutely unbearable the videos were annoying the wind was turbulent sounding it was kicking up everything in my helmet now it sounded great when i had my visor open like this but past that at highway speeds you couldn't understand a word i was saying so my next video please like and subscribe for it it'll be for the microphone setup that i have and for most of you this setup will be free so that's all i have today keep two wheels up ride safe have a good day